Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, like, like the video, share some support. Like the video, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And I continually, hopefully, bring a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of common sense, and a little bit of unbiased uh, views of uh, technical analysis. It's now two weeks in a row, two weekends in a row. Uh, two weekends ago, I recorded the, vi the video, and then an hour later, the unfortunate uh, attempt at President Trump's uh, life on Saturday, I recorded the video, and then an hour later, uh, President Biden decides to uh, step off the ticket to run for re-election. The only difference was... You kind of knew it was going to happen. You heard uh, murmurs uh, for the whole week. Uh, again, I personally think um, the Democrats kind of saw the writing on the wall and they, they, they pretty much sabotaged them during the debate. Um, you know, they, then you had all these rumors of, you know, he was being asked to step down. And I, I thought, I talked about, I think on, on Wednesday's video or Thursday's video, I think it was Wednesday, that once President Obama told them to kind of, maybe you want to back out there, Joe. That was kind of the dagger. So when you saw him step down uh, over the weekend, um, you know, the only question was, well, how is the market going to react? I, I, I thought, and I tweeted this out on Sunday evening, I, I thought the initial reaction was going to be good, just strictly because uh, it's almost, uh, I know he was to use the word guarantee, uh, victory for Trump, but it, it's going to be a very, very tough time uh, for the Democrats to scramble, uh, look for a candidate. Again, it looks like uh, you know Harris is going to be the next uh, person up. Uh, honestly, she's done, she's already managed to raise a hundred million dollars uh, in um, donations over in twenty four hours. Look, I don't think I don't think that's going to make a difference um, between. Trump looking like a complete superhero on the assassination attempt. Uh, you know, it's going to be a very, very tough time uh, for the Democrats to uh, win this thing. You know, anything could happen, but as we know, but it's going to be very, very tough. So market um, actually did okay today. You know, we talked about it over the weekend before uh, this news was up. Um, you know, was it conceivable that we can see a kind of a dead cat balance today? Yeah, sure. I mean, think about this. I mean, NASDAQ has pretty much been in a spin cycle uh, ever since the engulfing candle on the July 11th. That's, you know, almost a week and a half. So we got a dead cat bounce today. Uh, we hit the five-day moving average. First, literally green day since this whole range was broken. Again, I, it's very, very tough to get excited uh, about this. Is it possible we get a day two tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Of course. Why not? There's only, you know, the market go only go up and go down. I mean, it's, it's not really... Uh, earth shattering news, but it is, you know, a little bit tough to kind of get excited, uh, all full force overnight, uh, risk on, you know, if, if having said that again, you can see a lot of, uh, the, you know, the heavy hitters just didn't participate today. You saw Apple, uh, red, you saw Amazon, I think it was break even that nah, down red, red on the day. Uh, you saw SMCI, uh, red, you know, you see a lot of names, uh, continuously be read. Uh, again, not very enthusiastic. You did definitely saw a couple of names who woke up, got above their previous day's channels. Uh, NVIDIA uh, was definitely one of them. Uh, saw a lot of call buying today. Okay, actually pretty uh, pretty impressive call buying. We saw the weekly uh, 130s come in, 125s, 130s, and then we saw the August uh, 140s that I believe are going to cover it uh, on earnings. Uh, tomorrow, you know, you have Tesla reporting big move today, big move today on Tesla. Again, here's another example of first day, first update in this whole entire formation. So we, you know, we've been talking about for a week. We had all lower highs uh, until today, reclaim back the 10 day moving average. It'll be interesting to see if we can get a second day push tomorrow uh, ahead of their earnings. 
uh, tomorrow night. Uh, obviously, that's going to be the most uh, important one with Google as well. Uh, but you did see some pretty aggressive coal buying coming in on Tesla ahead of their earnings, the 270s, the 280s, the 290s. And then towards the middle of the morning, uh, late early afternoon, you started seeing really heavy uh, September 300 calls coming in. So obviously, by the time uh, we are watching this video tomorrow night, uh, Tesla's earnings are going to be out like we talked about. Uh, even when Tesla broke out finally above uh, those April highs, you know, the dynamic, the narrative uh, of the stock has changed. Absolutely. We caught some pretty good pivots to the downside. But uh, overall, as you could be, as you can imagine, the idea that uh, several analysts trimmed their delivery numbers, those delivery numbers came in great, not even good, but great. Uh, now, you know, there's actually some uh, pretty aggressive optimism ahead of their earnings tomorrow night. You know, look, does it mean it's going to beat numbers and explode? You know, it's earnings, right? It's earnings. It's like when, you, when you're you watching a basketball game, you know, only only two things could happen. Either your team wins or loses. So earnings are a crapshoot. You can have, again, you can have the earnings right in your hand. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows how the market's going to react. But the point is, at least heading into earnings, you're definitely seeing uh, optimism. You're seeing enthusiasm. You're seeing uh, a lot of really heavy betting uh, to the upside on Tesla. Again, does it mean uh, it's going to run away train? Who the hell knows, right? Who the hell knows? But most important part is the overall spectrum. Again, uh, QQQs today, again, not out of the woods, not even close yet, guys. For for the market to get out of the woods, they're going to have to reclaim back 20-day moving average above 487. We're roughly around the 482 level, so we're not out of the woods just yet. Uh, you have the IWM today after four days of selling after this massive run. Uh, it stopped at the five-day moving average. Tomorrow, the bulls need to get back above this 221 level for a next like push. You got the SPYs, again, kind of mirroring the NASDAQ 100. First day up into five-day supply. Uh, let's see if tomorrow uh, they can make a push. Uh, for a, a day two. Uh, other than that, you know, it's pretty much a, a mixed bag, uh, pretty much mixed bag today. You could, if you can see by the pivots, you'll see there wasn't a thousand pivots today. Uh, we caught a couple of things, you know, you know, NVIDIA was pretty good in the morning. SMCI was okay. Yeah, Shopify, it was a small move down, but uh, Coin had a nice move off uh, off uh, the weekend uh, off the weekend update. So, you know, look, it wasn't one of these uh, fantastic, fantastic trading days, but it was good enough, right? I think that's the best thing. I think every single day you want a big, massive move, 12 13 $14, but sometimes you get 50 cents. Sometimes you get a dollar. Sometimes you get a dollar and change, or sometimes you get nothing. So uh, it's all about uh, preparation and being uh, being prepared for the next day and seeing uh, which side confirms. So here are the pivots for the day. Uh, hymns I was watching below 19, never got there. Uh, Starbucks on the Elliott uh, second day, uh, Elliott Management second day stake play, never went higher. Uh, Coin, we talked about this on the weekend video, 260 and the June 264 highs uh, need to confirm. Here was Coinbase, right? Here was Coinbase, took out the 60, took out the 64. Uh, Coinbase went as high as the 266. I still like it. I still like it. Bitcoin is strong above 266 tomorrow as more room uh, to run. Uh, here is my first trade of the day here. Uh, NVIDIA 121.60 got rejected back to back days. Uh, needs to confirm, right? Here is NVIDIA. So got above the 160, uh, 121.60s, uh, got back above last week's highs, 2240s, traded as high as the 24, got rejected with the 20, uh, 20 day, uh, 20 day supply. But again, if, if NVIDIA can get back above the 20 day supply and the market has another run in it, uh, we should see a push into the 10-day supply, roughly around the 25 and a half, 26 area. We'll see. We'll see if the market uh, can give a day two. Uh, SMCI, again, didn't rally today. Uh, one of the very few names that is still super duper heavy, uh, 778 and 774, if it confirms, can bring in more selling. Here it was SMCI, right? So it took out, uh, you can see off the 60-minute chart, uh, it took out everything here. It took out the 78, took out the 74, uh, traded all the way down to 765 before a little bit of reversal, but still down 10 bucks uh, on the day. Uh, Shopify, not a big move. 62, if it builds below, it can flush. It went down like 60, 70 cents, nothing big there. Uh, but this is the big one right here, right? This was the big one right here, Jumio, right? Of all things, again, 
This is the whole point of repeat call buying, right? Well, just repeat call or put buying. In this case, they were coming nonstop uh, with the August 1750, 18 calls, one after another, after another, after another, after another. And once you start seeing repeat call buying, and a range is confirmed. It's the same formula, guys, over and over again. It doesn't make a difference if it's Tesla, if it's Jumia. Uh, once a daily chart gets confirmed, you have massive, massive, deep out of the money, uh, repeat option flow with short-term expiration. Usually something good's going to happen. So here was the pivot. This is definitely the move of the day. Uh, Jumia 1337 needs to build. Again, nonstop August 17 half, uh, $18 calls. So Jumia, the Amazon of Africa, right? Uh, took out this whole area here, uh, 1337, traded all the way up to almost 15. Big move here. Uh, any weakness tomorrow should be a buying opportunity. If it gets above 15, you probably get another surge tomorrow. And I believe that's it. NEXT uh, didn't confirm. So again, big day tomorrow for uh, technology. Uh, you got Tesla, right? I want to see if we get a second day run on this thing. Uh, you got Google tomorrow. Uh, coming into earnings, uh, got rejected today off the 20-day. Uh, if it could get back above the 20-day, maybe it gives a pre-earnings uh, run. But other than that, you know, we'll say, you know, we'll take a day at a time, trade at a time. Again, some days you'll get a lot of value. Some days you'll get a little value. And some days you'll just sit there and just uh, analyze the market, taking in data. But again, the most important part is live to trade another day. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great evening and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.